Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to present your design like a pro in Adobe XD. Not this animation, but the design. Watch this video fully. At the end of the video, I have shared my very first design and how I presented it. Before we get started, I want to mention that the 3D shapes I've used in the design are from Graphic Stash. I've attached the website link below. Go and you can check it out. Let's get started. Open Adobe XD. Create an artboard of 1080 in the 1080 pixels. And this dimension is for an Instagram post. If you are designing for the dribble post, then the dimension will be 1600 in the 1200 pixels. Now bring your exported design into the artboard. If you do not know how to export your design, let me show. Select the artboard you want to export and press Ctrl plus E. This will open the export settings. You can change the format here. In my case, I'm going to export the design as PNG. And here you can select the location you want your design to be exported. Then click the export button and your designs will be exported on the selected location. Now change the background color of the artboard to the primary color of the design. Adjust the BG color to a lighter one. If you find any difficulties in choosing a better one, then try this. Change the BG to white color and create a rectangle of the same size as the artboard. Remove the border and send it back. Now change the rectangle color to the primary color and reduce its opacity to around 15 or 16. Select both the screens and change its border radius to 60 pixels. Then change the rotation value for both the screen. Adjust the positions as you want it to be. Now let's add a shadow to the first screen and that it'll look like this in a bit elevated from the other one. For that, create a rectangle of the same size as the screen. Remove its border and change the border radius. Change it to a primary color and select the darker version of it, like this. Now bring it inside the group. And change its rotation value the same as the first screen. Place it between the first and the second screen, then adjust its position. By selecting the rectangle, change the background blur, then change it to object blur. Increase the value and reduce its opacity. Now select the group and reduce the size if you want. That's it. Let's add some elements randomly around the design to make it look more cool. I'm going to speed the process up now.
If you want to add some element, then add a blur to it and it will give you some kind of 3D effect. Now click the preview to see the outcome. Uh huh, this looks better, right? Better than this one, maybe. Yes, this is my first design and it is the way that I presented it. <laughs> and yes, I have posted it on Instagram too. Now you may be thinking why this guy is sharing all this. That is because some of you may have felt insecure to share your designs on social platforms just because you compare with other people's works. Do not compare your work with others. Share your works and that will give you some feedback loop from others and use it to improve your design and then repeat it. As the meme goes, eat, sleep, design, and then repeat. And this tutorial shows one of the ways to present your design. So try to observe the idea and apply it with your own creativity. That's all for today's video people. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Drop a like and share it with your friends. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. And if you have any queries, you can ping me on Instagram and links to my social accounts are in the description. See you next time. Until then, bye-bye.